Engineer 775, probably shouldn't be doing this, but uh, testing uh, some hydro on a rainy day. And uh, the pond's nice and full. <laughs> and this is what you shouldn't do, is run 300 watt light bulbs in the rain, exposed to the rain. See, it's still smoking. There's still smoke coming off of this thing. Engineer 775, continually trying to improve our understanding of uh, our hydro, mini hydro setup here. And we've added uh, our light bar and our vacuum gauge so we can see what we're doing both on the suction side of the turbine, which is where we're hooked up to now. And we can also measure it on the inlet side to compare before it goes through the turbine. Okay, so we have some diagnostic tools. We also stepped up from the six inch setup there to the left to an eight inch inlet and a 10 inch tail, about nine foot of head from the turbine down into a rubber made container so we don't erode the ground out. Shorten up some of our electrical cords. So we're ringing about 270 volts AC, open circuit to the inverter generator and that's what's in this box this says danger high voltage it's a 120 volt AC pure sine wave inverter generator that's running directly off of our water turbine got a little kilowatt meter that we're going to use here to measure voltages and track the uh, amp uh, watt hours that we actually produce and then we've got our battery our, our, our light bar bank so we can actually hold a sustained load and figure out what we're actually producing. We're thinking that we've in improved this by at least 200 watts an hour, which was a good upgrade. And, uh, and that's about it. We have our inches of water column gauge so we can measure vacuum and pressure. And so we've made a lot of improvements over our first attempt, which was just hooking it up to my overflow out of the pond. So, okay, we're gonna go ahead and start her up. We've dropped our inlet in, and we just saw the turbine just start spinning up. And I need to put a tack on this, but I think we're at about 2200 RPMs. And not until the siphon is fully developed will we actually get that speed up there. So she's going slow now, but as the siphon develops, it will start to, to scream. Okay. Um, we're also not quite up there to make power. We're at the beginning stage. You want to see how much you can see how the vacuum is starting to develop here. Oh, yeah. And it's going to pin this. Okay, so our inverter generator is putting out 120 volts, 119, 119.9. It's a regulated inverter generator. And it's just running great. And you'll see these two light bulbs are both 300 watt light bulbs so we're able to sustain run as long as we have water we've got 600 watts we could add more and bring the voltage down a little bit but i'm kind of wanting to hold it right there so it stays in that normal range uh, good range for appliances so here we have an inverter generator that you can plug in just about any uh, device that would need to run under 600 watts continuous and it does have a little bit of surge so it can start some things. We started some grinders and things that use a little more surge startup power. But uh, there we have it. We're sustained 600 watts and plenty of suction on there. And this will run for hours and hours. So we could plug in, we could plug in a, a variety of battery chargers right into our inverter generator. And that's probably what I'm going to do next. But I think we've been pretty successful using uh, our pond to store energy. And then when we need the energy, we convert it into electricity. We um, basically have done a lot of work here. And <laughs> you might not be able to tell, but we've done a lot of work. And our gizmo, our pond um, siphon gizmo is working pretty good with an 8-inch inlet. So pond's doing, doing well. It's full. And also, you can see, I don't know if my camera will zoom in, yeah, there's a nice, uh, one of my overflows from um, 
a solar pump pumping away nicely on this sunny day after the cows are watered and all the waters up the hill are satisfied. And that's happening from those two panels right there. So got a lot happening in here. We got water being dumped into the pond from solar pumps, from spring sources. We also have the hydraulic ram pump that is running and pumping water up to the top of the hill and overflowing back to the pond. Got water going just about everywhere, but you've got to start with a storage source first. And so I figured we could run about a quarter of a million gallons through the through the generator that we've stored. And obviously this water would run normally down downstream. So anyway, just a, a great way to have some backup power. And this is really a prototype and it's a test. Some of you will have ponds that are flowing continually, putting out a high volume of water. You know, consider a micro hydro system. Feel free to contact us and we'd be uh, glad to either help you directly or point you in the right direction, get you over to Langston's Alternative Power where Spencer could help design a system that's custom for your location. And so just let us know and we'd be glad to work with you. All right, uh, this has uh, been a real successful test. We've increased our performance by 200 watts an hour. So I think it was worth digging the ditch. What do you think? Um, I know there's been all sorts of comments about water going down the stream. Don't worry about that. That's not what this project is about. <laughs> okay, there are pawn shops and then there are pawn shops. Sorry, I couldn't resist. Got my dual grinder and just wanted to show you. This is running off of the, the hydro turbine and the inverter generator. So it has no problem with the momentum. power. I only was, uh, I think, pulling about 300 watts um, according to the kilowatt meter. And so you could do a lot of work in a short period of time off of your hydro system at the pond. So great backup for charging, running a power tool, just doing some work. You could run a, you could run 20 Dremel tools off of this thing. So, and this is about a seven and a half amp startup. Absolutely no problem running any power tool off of the pond. All right, Engineer 775, sign it out again.